welcome and thank you so much for volunteering to be a part of the Single Moms Oil Change event at Trinity Church in Mesa. I'm Rick Smith and I'm on the men's ministry team. So first of all, I wanna say, let's remember what our mission is. Our mission is to make these single moms feel loved, appreciated, and know that they are valuable. So this, uh, this video is to be informational for those of you who have, who have volunteered to be greeters. Uh, it's also can give you an idea of what the event's gonna look like in terms of process. So first of all, uh, I want you to understand that although the oil change is very important to them, the inspection that we give them is gonna be very much more important. This inspection, depending on it, how it's handled, can either bring the mom a lot of peace or a lot of anxiety. So how we handle things will be very important. So this piece of paper uh, is what's going to stay with the vehicle through the entire process. The first section is just the informational section. And you as a greeter, some of these will already be pre-filled out. So if you find the one that belongs to them, you start with that. Otherwise, you have to put the information in. Uh, then you want to enter the vehicle mileage. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to have a sheet of, they're basically mailing labels, and you're going to read that mileage, you're going to round it up, and then you're going to add 5,000 miles to it. So for example, if it's 143,242 miles, you're going to round it up to 144,000, add five, so that's 149,000 miles that you're going to write for their next oil change being due. Then you're going to ask her if she has any concerns about the car, and there's a place for you to note that. Now, this would be a good, po good point if you want to talk to her about any prayer requests that she might have, but we also should have people on, on the facility whilst her oil change is getting done. Uh, there should be some women there and things that she can talk to and some games for the kids and so forth, too. So she's going to get a lot of service that day. Once you've done this, then you're going to drive the car over to the section where all the bays are at, where all the mechanics are going to do the inspection and the oil change. And they're going to fill out this inspection part of it, and they're going to use reds, yellows, and greens to determine on that particular part of the car what the condition is. From there, they're going to drive it over to either an on-site repair spot. We are going to do some minor repairs if the car's there, if it needs an air filter, wiper blades, or light bulbs, or the battery cables need servicing, we're gonna take care of all of that. Anything beyond that, we're gonna to try to set up a time later to try to help her out after the event. From there, it goes to a tire check station, and at that station, they are going to make sure the tires are all aired up. Uh, they're gonna double check the oil level, and then they're also going to make sure there's no active leaks under the car, that everything went good. Then from there, it's gonna go over to the car wash bay. And once they clean it up, they're gonna bring it back to you. At that point, review this checklist that the mechanics did. If you have any questions, go talk to either the mechanic, or if you need to, you can talk to me as well. Uh, and then go over that report with the mom. Now at this point, if you need me to be involved at all, don't let her go. Make sure I talk to her before she goes. I have good intentions to follow up afterwards, but to be honest, it, my life can be a little difficult for me to do that and I might drop the ball. So if you need me or one of the other professionals, make sure you talk to us. Lastly, we're going to keep this form. So you basically have her take her phone, snap a shot of it so she can have the report on her car. That's gonna be a great day. I'm so glad you're all gonna be there and I'm looking forward to serving with you.